Hi there, and we're back again with the Transformer Prime from ASUS. Clinton Lott from our Google Plus network has asked us to show a bit more about some of the Android 4 browser abilities, particularly the lab-based uh, browser. And we're gonna show that to you now because it is a very different way of interacting with the browser and makes a lot of sense when you're holding uh, a tablet with two hands and two thumbs. Let's have a look. Okay, so the thing about browsers, even today, is that they're still based, um, for the most part, on a desktop type of browser. You've got the URL at the top, um, you've got your back button, your refresh, all sort of in bars here. Now that's very desktop-ish, and if you're holding a tablet, it may not be the best way, or the easiest way, to be able to search or change things, uh, or control your browsing experience. So what Android have done is created a uh, prototype browser uh, where it's much more gesture orientated and relies on finger movement than having to uh, rely on a browser interface. So what we do is we go to settings and we've got a labs uh, section down here and it's called quick controls. So this really shows you uh, what we can do with a browser. So we just go back out of that. Now it's all, right now you can see that there is a full screen. There's no URL, uh, there's no controls. Now you can use either your left or your right thumb to control this. So for example, if we're using our right thumb, we come in from the right. And right away, we've got a ring of different uh, commands. We can go forward, back, refresh. So let's, for example, let's refresh. And we'll see it's gonna refresh that page. We can go to other tabs. And we just go into there, we can choose whichever tab we want to go into. For example, we'll go to uh, the ASUS webpage. There you go. Quite intuitive. Um, you can even delete that tab. So we'll just press the X there, and now the tab's gone. Uh, we can add new tabs. So if we press that, and we decide we want ASUS in there, we just press go, and there it comes up again. Now the great thing, of course, is that not everyone's right-handed. There's also left-handed people, like myself as well. You can do exactly the same thing on the left hand as well. So all you do is bring in your left thumb across, and there's uh, the same results again. There's your tap controls, the settings, refresh, forward, back, adding a tab, taking a tab away, going into your bookmarks, or just actually going into the URL if you wanted to type a new URL in. Very intuitive. Um, I think it's a great step forward as far as browsers go, because it really starts taking away from what we would normally talk about in terms of a traditional browser experience, and really taking into how we would actually use a browser when, we, when we're actually using a tablet. Um, as I said, it's, it's, it's labs, so that means that it's in sort of prototype territory, um, but I can see how going forward, gesture orientation um, and commands via thumbs are gonna have a much bigger part to play uh, when it comes to controlling your browser experience. All right, so that was a quick review of the new uh, gesture controlled browser um, that's introduced into Ice Cream Sandwich. Until next time.